Hey guys, I'm James Bruce with MakeUseOf.com and today we are looking at the best ways of recording your gaming shenanigans. Whether that's from a desktop computer, from any console via a HDMI capture box such as this one from Roxio, and even as a bonus I'll show you how you can record from an iPad. Let's get started. Okay, so first up we have Open Broadcaster Software. Now OBS is free, open source, and widely regarded as the best choice by PC gamers. You can get it yourself from obsproject.com. That said, it's far from user friendly. Let's take a look here. So this is the main window. As you can see, it's it's fairly simple, non-cluttered. You can select, you can create various scenes and you can add sources. It's fairly easy to add a source here. For instance, let's go and add my PS3i camera. There we go. However, you'll notice you don't get a preview immediately. You have to press preview stream to see it. And even then, you can't drag and drop this around. You can't resize it. You have to, in order to do that, right click on the source and then use one of these various options to resize or move it. Or you go into properties and you have to change the resolution. So it's not exactly ideal like that. It's, it's pretty difficult to work with. To add a game, you would need to have the game running first, then you would go to Add Game Capture, and you would select the window in here. It's available to stream to a variety of different services, which you can get from under here. If you want to live stream, you can see there's a number of services here you can work with. So it, it works with everything, basically, and it does work, it's just not particularly user-friendly. Unfortunately, OBS also doesn't support external capture devices from Hopage, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, Ava Media or Roxio, apparently because the output streams are compressed and no one can be bothered to write a plugin for it. So it's certainly the best free software out there, but it wouldn't be my choice. Anyway, you'll now see some sample footage recorded from Dead State, a new zombie survival RPG out on Steam. This is just a early access demo, so very little of it is functional right now, but you can uh, walk around and fight zombies and things. I'm just going to go find some more supplies, see what we have. Nope, nothing down there. And the idea behind this is not only that it's a, a kind of isometric um, zombie survival RPG, but that you also have to deal with with looking after your shelter and upgrading it and, and dealing with the, the human side of, of having an apocalypse, not just the killing zombie side. So right now OBS is recording this. It seems to be running nicely, even with the uh, effects on maximum here. Um, there's no noticeable slowdown or anything. So let's go kill some zombies. <laughs> Scary zombie. You suck. You really suck. So, for recording from a console, you will need an HDMI capture hardware device of some kind. In this case, I'm using a Roxio GameCap HD Pro, which is $120. Now, although it comes with some very basic recording software, it really doesn't allow anything complex, like adding a voice overlay or, or a webcam. So, for that, I would recommend XSplit. Now, XSplit is a premium option, and it currently operates on a subscription. So $5 a month for a license, um, if you buy for the full year. You will still need your capture device drivers installed though, so in don't think of it as a replacement in case you've lost your driver disk or anything, you will still need them. It's very easy to use, this is XSplit Broadcaster downloaded and I've logged into my account. In this case I'm only going to use a single scene, but as you can see there's, there's up to 12 scenes that you can define, you can give them each a custom name, and that allows you to change between layouts and setups. So for example, if you wanted to add an inter interstitial advertisement of some kind into your, your 
stream or your recording you could do that and you could switch between it and then switch back but in this case I'm just going to use one and you'll see it's very easy here I just go to add add camera I'll add the uh, Roxio GameCap HD Pro I'll put that in and you can move it around resize it there we go and then I'll go ahead and add a PS3i camera down here so as you can see it's very easy to put things together like that. Um, XSplit is also my personal favorite because it's the only package capable of creating a virtual camera output from whatever you're recording so although other software can stream directly to Twitch TV for example only XSplit can be used to broadcast to say a Google Plus Hangout or to Skype or any other application that takes a webcam as an input. Okay, so I'm going to record a little sample footage now from Dead Rising 3 on my Xbox One. So that's the next thing you'll see. So this is Dead Rising 3 on the Xbox One being recorded through XSplit. I've also added a one second delay onto the microphone, um, just so they line up properly. Here I am in my stunningly attractive schoolgirl costume, and let's kill some zombies. This is actually a pretty awesome game, by the way. It's an open world style game like GTA, but with zombies and you can drive cars, craft weapons. It's very cool. Okay, so next up, let's talk about recording from an iPad. Enough of this. So the last application I want to show you here is called Reflector from airsquirrels.com slash reflector. It's a paid app. It costs $13, but you can get a discount if you like their Facebook page. And what this does is it basically creates an airplay target which you can then send video and audio to from any compatible iOS device. So over on my iPad here, I've got the I've got the reflector app launched on my desktop and I've selected the airplay target. And then what you'll see is I get a complete replication of my desktop here, my uh, my iOS desktop as it were. And from here it records audio as well as you can hear. And to start recording, you can just go on to device, start recording at any time. Now, it'll only record the audio and the video from the device itself, not from any voiceover that you're trying to do. So you'll have to do that in post-editing or whatever. But it's a very easy way to rec record gameplay from your iPad. So that's cool. Don't forget to check out makeuseof.com for even more fantastic tutorials. Thank you for listening. So... There you have it. For recording PC gaming, Open Broadcaster System is free and probably your best choice if you don't want to spend any money. It's not quite user friendly, but it'll do. Now my personal choice goes to XSplit for recording both console gaming via a hardware input device and PC gaming. It's just more user friendly and gives you better options. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out the main site at makeuseof.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.